Hi guys, thank you for joining me. Today I'll be making arroz con gandules. We're gonna start with putting enough olive oil to cover the bottom of the pot. Let that heat up for like a minute. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our chicken sausage. And we're gonna let that stir fry a little bit, release the juices, and brown on both sides. Now I add chicken sausage because I do eat kosher, um, but it's your choice of what kind of sausage you would like to add. Beef is also really good with this, but um, I hope you don't use pork, but it's your choice. <laughs> and now I'm going to add roasted red peppers and three garlic cloves and we're gonna have that stir fry along with the chicken sausage and it's gonna add amazing flavor and really nice coloring to the rice I do like seeing the roasted red peppers in the rice I think it looks beautiful I like color in the rice besides the yellow that the sazon gives it <laughs> and after that stir fried for a few minutes we're gonna go ahead and add our sofrito that's about two tablespoons, give or take. <laughs> and I do like to put it in a jar that I reuse. And we're also going to add two tablespoons of tomato paste. And mix that up there and let that continue stir fry for a little bit. And now I'm gonna be adding cilantro. I do freeze it sometimes and sometimes I use it fresh. It's just that if I don't use it quick enough, it'll spoil. So it's okay to use frozen if you want. And you're gonna start stir frying that and you're gonna smell that amazing cilantro smell that we all love. <laughs> Now go ahead and continue mixing that so that it doesn't burn. That is not burnt in the middle. It's just a little toasted. <laughs> it's really not burnt. <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and add two cups of water. And this is room temperature. Um, I really don't recommend cold from the fridge, you know. But um, go ahead and add the water. Give it a mix a few times. And we're gonna be adding one cup of fresh picked gandules that were pressure cooked. You could definitely use the can of gandules. This is pigeon peas in English, okay? For those of you that don't know, just in case. <laughs> and stir that a little bit and we're going to be adding two tablespoons of salt this is kosher salt you can use the salt of your choice but remember you know it depends how much sodium there is and how much or how little you need to add of salt and this is sasong we'll be adding about a tablespoon and a half of, uh, of sasong <laughs> mix that a little that's gonna give it a nice color and it adds a little bit of flavor. And this is pep uh, crushed red peppers. You know, I wanna add a little bit of spice to it. Not everybody has to do that. I don't always do that, I do it sometimes when I want a little spice. Now go ahead and let that boil a little bit since it has the gandulas. We're gonna allow everything to continue cooking and the flavors to combine with one another and we're gonna cover it. And we'll come back to it in about a few minutes. Give it like mm, five, three minutes, three, five minutes. <laughs> oh my goodness, I cracked myself up. <laughs> 
Okay, so now that it's boiled for three, five minutes, five, three minutes, we're gonna go ahead and add our rice. And this is about three cups of rice that I've washed and go ahead and pick out all the little tiny rocks that it has and the shell of the rice sometimes it comes mixed up with the rice. And once that's in the pot, mix it a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> So continue mixing until it's completely covered by the water and just add enough um, you might need to take out a little bit of water or add a little bit of water depending so this is how it should look just enough to cover the rice and a trick that people do do that I did not show is they put the serving spoon in the middle of the pot and if it stands that means that it has enough water next time I'll do that but this time I did it <laughs> okay so now I'm gonna cover it with aluminum foil to keep the steam inside the pot to allow the rice to cook properly and I'm gonna cover it with the lid and we're gonna let it sit I wanna say I never time it that's horrible I know um, about a half an hour I would say on low heat so once the rice is in the pot you're going to put it on low before that it's on medium heat okay did not say that before oops <laughs> so now that the rice is done go ahead and mix it and look how delicious this looks look at that steam smell it it's amazing look at those chicken sausages the gandules and i also did add green olives that are pitted it's stuffed with red pepper and uh go ahead and enjoy this is a meatloaf that i made um and i do have a video with that i hope you watch it and let me know what you think about it. And I think meatloaf goes great with Spanish rice. I hope you enjoy. Let me know what you think, please. Comment, like, subscribe, all those things. Share it with everybody you know. And come again to my channel, please. Thank you. Bye-bye.